All right, here we go. So I slacked off on this for like a couple of months, probably because I just got tired of eating cheeseburgers. I don't know. And we did some other stuff, but we're back at it with another burger ranking. This is like our second one in a week. And this time uh, I went to a place that is somewhat of a local favorite. Now I, for whatever reason, have only been to this place a couple of times, but I went to Southern Hops on Palmetto Street going out towards Timmonsville and I got their smokehouse burger and macaroni and cheese. It's going to be interesting. Okay. So y'all know the rules with this. We're looking at the patty and the bread. That is the bun in particular. Because remember, you can dress the burger however you like. And so instead of getting their regular American and keeping that consistency going, I decided to switch it up and I got the um, Smokehouse Burger. And I did not bring anything to drink up here with me. That's, that's terrible. All right. So looking at this, I can tell that it is a smash burger style going which is a plus for me i know some people don't like them but i like the smash burgers and it says on their menu that these are two one-fourth pound burger patties with a brioche bun bun looks nice let's check out this patty right here right now the smash on it is pretty smashed it says they're seasoned too oh this is um caramelized onions bacon pimento cheese and barbecue sauce southern hops smokehouse burger Somebody told me the other day, they said, I love your videos, but stop smacking. To which I said, well, for one, I don't think I am. For two, there's a giant microphone right in front of my face. But for three, I actually agree. I don't like to listen to people chew. But do y'all know, and some of y'all do, some of y'all are probably these people. There's a whole genre <laughs> of people eating and people just like to listen to the chewing. No joke. It's all over YouTube. Then there's a name for this. I forgot what it's called, but there's actually videos where people whisper like this they whisper real quiet and then they eat food and just chew and people watch this stuff i don't know who they are but they're out there so you can't do the food reviews or the food videos without some chewing you just have to have that it's part of the game again i said in the last video where we went to locals it's hard to do these without doing them back to back but i, I think i've got this and one thing i'll say about this particular smokehouse burger this thing has a little heat to it i'm guessing it's the barbecue sauce and if y'all know me, you know that I like heat, so it's not a problem for me. But some of y'all would not like that aspect of this. Let's see what's up with this macaroni and cheese. It smells a lot like my mom's macaroni and cheese. It looks similar. My mom's macaroni and cheese is slamming. It's good. Nah. It ain't my mom's, I'll tell you that. But it's not bad, though. I can tell that I, I went at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. So I know I didn't get the freshest batch. It's definitely got a homemade vibe to it, for sure. It doesn't taste like boxed. A lot of times you go to these restaurants and it's like boxed macaroni, almost craft macaroni. This is definitely homemade. Is it as good as mom's? No, but it's not bad. Now let's go through this. The brioche bun is nice. It always is, and it, this has been toasted well. So the edges of the brioche bun have a little crisp to them. Uh, the patty is seasoned. Black pepper, very light on the garlic and salt, maybe. All right, so it ta it does take a little bit of time because upon first bite, I thought we might be going somewhere, but now that I've made my way through most of it, I can tell you unequivocally, unequivocally, unequivocally that I don't dislike it, but nothing about it really stands out to me either. I actually think in this case, I made a mistake. I think I would have preferred the American classic. Just being honest, especially with them going for the smash burger approach with Buddy's being essentially right across the street or right down the road a little bit. And obviously Buddy's is number one on our list currently. I'm gonna go Buddy's all day, every day over this. Remember that our ranking system is elite, exceptional, basic and i personally wouldn't eat this i would be open to getting the burger again i don't think i'd get that particular one i think i'd get the american i feel like i would enjoy that a little bit more just the way how that burger is uh because you know what is a smokehouse burger but everything on that one was i guess you could say smoky the, the bacon the caramelized onion the barbecue sauce and the way that the patties are seasoned there was nothing to cut through with any saltiness or any pop of like acidity or anything like that so i think mayonnaise lettuce tomato something lighter crisper cooler would complement that burger patty better the brioche bun is good so that's probably how i would do that but anyways what i'm saying is i would eat that burger again but certainly nothing about it jumped out to me so it's going to be basic then when i look at our current leaderboard obviously it's not going to go over the two we have marked as exceptional 
So it's everything from Del May down. I wouldn't eat it over Del May. I wouldn't get that over the Locals Burger. I don't think I'd get it over Bird's Nest or Stefano's. So it's really a toss up for me with them and Burger Bar. And I got to say out of those two, I think I would go with Burger Bar. So that is going to put Southern Hops Burger in eighth place currently. Not bad, but for me, not better than the other seven that we've had so far. So there you have it. Let me know what y'all think down in the comments. I've got a couple other places y'all recommended that are lined up to hit maybe this week. Oh, okay, there's like somehow the top got on the bottom. There's some good cheese on the bottom of this. This macaroni and cheese is not bad. It's not my mom's. I'm gonna try to catch my mom's macaroni and cheese for one of the Facebook reels coming up soon. So if y'all follow us over there, you'll see that. This is not that, but it's actually the closest thing I've ever had in a restaurant to it. Not bad at all. I like their side selection. They got collard greens and just some different things going on. They actually don't even have French fries, which I didn't even know that until today. All right, so there you have it. As always, I appreciate y'all's viewership. Here is our current burger ranking for best burger in Florence, South Carolina with Southern Hops currently bringing up the rear. I would say I think that burger is good enough that it probably won't finish last. We still have a lot of places to go, but right now that's where it's at. I'll leave their menu up on the screen at the end of the video so y'all can take a look at it. I hope y'all enjoyed this video, and as always, God willing, we'll see you on the next one.